Hiya, so I'm finally here to do a tutorial at long last. Um, so today I'm going to do a um, kind of a peacock feather inspired look. I'm going to be using um, all products from MAC. Um, I have already um, done the foundation and, and powders and things. So really I'm going to be concentrating on the eyes, cheeks and lips like I do in most of my tutorials. Um, so I'm taking my inspiration from this clip here which I've featured in uh, one of my other videos which is from New Look and it was £4 um, so you can see here I've already um, done one eye I've got you know kind of some uh, yellowy greens and um, blueies uh, some uh, greens and some blue eye eyeliners there so obviously I'll go through them all um, as, as we get to them so I'm just going to start off first of all um, by using um, Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. So it's just really quite um, a, a neutral colour there. I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid, all the way up to the eyebrow. Just acts as a base there. And then I'm going to use um, a paint pot that I just got yesterday. It's called um, Indian Wood. Again, well, let's say everything's from MAC. So there we go. It's quite um, got a nice shimmer there. I don't know if you can see it quite well there. Yeah. So I'd say like it's like a bronzy colour. I would liken this. I would say this is like a liquid version or a cream version of Barry M's bronze number 44 I think it's one of their bestseller um, Dazzle Dust Just a really really pretty colour most of that will be getting covered up but it will show through um, through the um, eyeshadow slightly I'm just going to put a little bit of that underneath the um, eye as well Just so that I've got something for the um, eyeshadow that I put on underneath to stick to. Okay. Now the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is um, from the To The Beach collection called Sweet and Punchy. It's kind of a, a, a yellow gold. I'm just going to put that on the eyelid there, just up to the crease. I'll put it along the bottom as well. And then the next um, eyeshadow I'm going to use is called a Shimmer Moss, again from the To The Beach collection. It's a bluey turquoise colour. Both of these are a uh, Velux Pearl um, kind of consistency. It does state this on the uh, on the packaging. Whether it's uh, Velux Pearl or, or Matte Shadow, you get what I mean. So I'm just going to put that on the inner corner there. I'm going to put it slightly underneath. And the uh, bottom lash line as well. I might need to touch that up in a bit, but we'll come back to that if need be. Okay, so the next um, shadow I'm going to use is actually a pigment from MAC. It's called Antique Green. I'm just going to use kind of a, a um, blending brush. Actually, I'm not using any um, MAC brushes today. I'm using um, a lot of them are from a um, kit that I got from the Freelance uh, what's it, Academy of Freelance Makeup. Um, I got a belt from there. Um, it's very good. The, the brushes are all very good and very soft bristles, so I thought I'd just use them today. So I'm just going to put this up along the crease, quite far along. So about three quarters of the way. Just going to put a wee bit on the corner. Just 
it slightly underneath as well. So about halfway along on the bottom. I go up just above the crease with the green because I'm going to be using another darker colour with um, kind of just to go along the crease itself. You do want this green to show up. Just with the pigments, just a bit of a tip, just to obviously you're not wanting to get too much on your brush, so I would always pat it in the lid there just so you can get rid of any uh, excess. prevents fallout see there I'm even getting some just by doing that so um, yeah if you had loads of it left I mean your face would just be covered so in the um, in the crease again I'm going to be using a pigment this pigment is called a deep blue green Quite, quite a dark colour there. I'm just going to use a, um, a soft pencil brush for this. Again, I'm just tapping off the excess in the lid. This I'll just go about halfway along. And again, just a kind of V shape on the corner of the eye so it's coming along the uh, top lash line there and again I'm just going to go underneath about halfway along again Now for eyeliners, I'm going to use, um, this one's called Prussian, it's a, a deep blue, just going to go about halfway along the bottom lash, lash line and then all the way across the top. right down to the lashes actually I'm going to use this pencil brush by MAC because it's just a little bit harder going to just try and bring some of that pencil along, just smudge that along to the inside there. Now I'm going to have to put this into two videos um, because it does go on a bit longer than the 10 minutes that, that I need for it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get that just smudged along uh, those two lines and then I'll come back to finish it off uh, finish the look off in the second video so I'll see you in that bye